Robert, and you're watching Backyard Body Works. Hi guys, uh, you are watching Backyard Body Works. I'm Robert. Thanks for stopping by the shop today. Uh, today is Saturday, uh, September the 14th, and we are working on the, I think we're gonna start with the lower A post and work our way towards the back of the car. Um, because the lower A post has got some, probably the most work that needs to be done to it because of that front where it meets up with the front firewall. There's a little strange or something strange going on there. Um, not necessarily from any kind of accident. It's just, I think the, the piece just needs to be worked a little bit because it's more of a 90 degree angle instead of a nice soft curve to meet that arch where that front piece goes over it. Um, now it probably won't work it too much. I mean, we'll try to get it as less of a 90 and more of a curve as possible, but I don't think we're gonna be able to do you know, exactly, you know, get it perfect. If we get it perfect, wow, oh, well, yay. So without further ado, we will go ahead and get started on uh, the lower A post and we'll go from there. It's, you know, cause today, this week is the short week. So we're probably not gonna get much done this weekend, but uh, we're gonna try, especially since my dad's birthday today. You know, he's turning 85 years old today. Can't believe that, he can't believe that. He's just like, wow. I can't believe I've made it this far. So anywho, without, you know, let's go ahead and get started and we will go ahead and uh, show you our work. Stick close, things are moving. Well guys, something that I was afraid would happen, happened. I broke the welds here on my bar. So before I move anything, I need to weld this back up. Otherwise my door gaps may or may not be lined up like they should. I'm gonna have to re-weld that first before I move anything else. So I've got it supported here and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and re-weld this bar and uh, then we'll continue on working with this. So sorry about that and my mistake and stuff like that happens and you just got to fix it. So carry on. Woo Alrighty. Well, it seems that I'm having some similar issues to some of you guys out there. And it's it's due to the parts being aftermarket, you know, they're not OEM, they're heritage approved. Um, it's not a bad fit, I'm not complaining. I'm just, it's an observation that uh, a lot of you guys have had and uh, I'm having, you know, like I said, it's it's something that obviously is uh, the norm versus, you know, an exception. Some of yours is a little worse than others. Uh, mine doesn't seem to be that bad. Um, this piece right, these beige pieces, uh, I'm kind of, you know, wondering, you know, where they're made or or who made them or what the what the deal is with that. The, the black pieces, uh, the Motor Heritage approved that have the little sticker on it, not so much. They seem to be, you know, I would call it within tolerances. 
and you just got to work the metal. That's just a norm. Uh, you know, any any car that I've ever worked on, when you get you know parts to replace panels and stuff like that, they don't always quite fit. I mean, they fit, but you have to work them to get them into the to the right place. I guess uh, it's it's unless you've experienced it or know what I'm or have worked in the field of you know auto body technology then it's it's hard to describe you have to experience it it's just parts don't fit and you've got to do your metal work in order for the parts to fit and that's what I'm that's what I'm discovering here this is a little bit short when this piece goes in and then this piece right here is something's it's just it just it's going to need to be worked as you can see it's a little bit concave through here and it should be flat and then right through here where my pinky is uh, you can see that it's a little bit there's a gap right here and that should be flush so I am thinking that it just you know it's just, just going to require being worked a little bit and uh, of course I've got all this space up here this has still got to go back that way probably about the distance that I'm short over here at least that's what it looks like I mean you can see where I made my cut here and it's still just a little bit on this back edge here and this piece needs to sit right into here so this has got to be all this has to be worked in order for this to go back and fit like it's supposed to I'm happy with this fit so far um, the fit behind this is uh, is coming along nicely I think um, here now you can see me um, so I'm not I'm not unhappy it's just requiring to use this for something other than a hat rack and just to think it through and make sure that everything is as it should be you can't just stick it on there and weld it up and say yay it's done it's <sighs> it can be a lot of brain work sometimes just to try and figure out you know how how it goes. I think I described it in the last video. It's like a puzzle, and you've got to you got to figure out how each piece goes together, and you got to figure out the fit and how it best fits. And then you, except with a regular puzzle, you don't have to work the piece to make it fit. <laughs> it just it's already cut, and you just pop it in. Whereas this is takes a little bit more finesse. All in all, I'm happy with the fit. This repair, I think, when I'm done, is going to be really nice. The parts that are, you know, that I'm putting in are, uh, they're good quality parts. Not like that other stuff I've got over in the corner over there that I showed you several videos back. I don't know if we're going to get the uh, the A post welded in as much as just fitted today because it's one o'clock and Dad's going to be over here about three, and I still got some cleaning up to do out here as well as inside. I don't want to leave my beloved in there cleaning up the house. You know what I'm saying, guys? We'll go ahead and finish fitting this stuff up, and then we'll call it a day. So stick close, stick around. I mean, we're not done yet, but uh, we're almost done. Right, guys I think that's going to finish it for today um, we have got the lower a post in and fitted we've got the uh, the strengthener fitted we've got the inner seal fitted um, it looks it looks good I'm really pleased with the fit um, it seems like from see, so once we got the floor in and we got all that fitted, now this I mean this didn't take but what an hour and a half, whereas before we've been spending you know days and weeks, and I think that's I think that's uh, that's um, indicative of what we've done. It was we've we've done a lot of the work already, and now it's just making sure everything you know fits up and is ready to go, and all of our prep work has paid off because things are just you know 
I wouldn't say bolting into place, but things are, you know, relatively fitting relatively nicely. Um, I'm happy with the fit of the lower A post. We uh, we stretched that that corner a little bit, and made a little bit more of an arc instead of more of 90 degrees, and uh, we got a nice fit there. The uh, the um, plate here in the front is looking really good. I don't know if you can see that or not from back there, but uh, you know I've got a nice flush uh, fit right here against this plate with the uh, the A post, especially down in here. Got a nice fit along this top edge here and around this corner and down the other side. So uh, nice fit here. I'm still kind of concerned along this bottom edge because it's really, really long compared to the other pieces. I don't know if that's because it's a jacking point or it's considered a jacking point and therefore it's got a little bit lower, you know, for whatever purpose or that's just the way they cut it and, you know, they, did, they just didn't cut it, you know, all the way and they cut it long, who knows. Um, all I know is that everything seems to fit. Uh, I will try and put the door on later. I don't know if I'm gonna put the door on now or I'm gonna wait until I put the, inner, the outer sill on and move the outer sill around with the door on so I can see how this gap along the bottom and this front edge and the back edge kind of pans out. So all in all, uh, you know, for you know, a quick Saturday afternoon, uh, jaunt we did a lot of work in this hour and a half and uh, I am very pleased with how it looks now uh, we will not meet back here in the shop until Wednesday because um, I don't see me getting out here and, and working uh, during my work week so I just there's a lot of other things that need to be taken care of that require that that window of opportunity that I have between waking up and going to work. Of course, the car plays second fiddle to that. I think that we are ready now for when Wednesday gets here, and Wednesday we'll go ahead and start welding the lower A post in, I think. Thanks for stopping by the shop. Uh, take care until Wednesday, and we will see you back here then. Hello, puppets. Welcome to my shop. You're watching Backyard Body Works. I'm Robert. Today is Thursday, it's not Wednesday. It is Thursday, September the, September the 19th. The snake project is done. We finished that up this, week, this past weekend. I've gone through my uh, week of work and now I'm off and I am back to working on the A post. Uh, the goal for today is to get the, the A post uh, finished as far as getting it fitted, which it, it's pretty much fitted, I think tweaking the fit and getting it welded in. Now, as far as the inner strengthener and the inner sill, uh, that is, we're gonna try and get all that done this week, but maybe not necessarily done today. So let's go ahead and get to work. Thanks for stopping by the shop. Let's get to work. I don't know about the rest of you, but I think it's ready. I think what we need to do now is just drill the plug, the holes for the plug welds and go ahead and start putting welder to metal because I've got a great fit. I'm very pleased with the way it fits. Just go ahead and start welding, I guess. All right, what's the worst thing that can happen? So I guess we'll go ahead and start welding it.
I think that's uh, got it for right now. I think it looks pretty good. Uh, I've got it welded along here. Um, the welds down through here are all in. I got the weld here and the weld across the lower, uh, the upper A post. And I probably should go ahead and weld up through here, but I'm not gonna do that just yet. I'm gonna wait, just simply because uh, I wanna wait. But other than that, I think it looks really good. I am very pleased with the way it, the way it welded up. Looks a lot better than that old nasty ro rusted brokenness that was was part of this. I am very I'm very pleased. I'm very pleased indeed. Now um, the fit I still have yet to fit the I'm going to fit the uh, the the outer sill just to make sure that everything's clearing and there's no anomalies. But I mean I don't see it where there should be any. I think it should fit, I think it should just and be done. So, uh, man, this is getting close. I am really starting to get happy. I am very pleased with the way the repair is going. It was a lot better than when I started six months, ago, or back in February, I think it was. I think it was February when we brought it over, maybe it was January. I was worried about it then. Of course, you know, we had the bonnet and that turned out pretty good. I think the car will be okay. I am, uh, very pleased with the way things are going. So, thank you guys for watching. Um, I'm gonna take a break. Uh, my dad just called and he wants to go to lunch. And I will be back with you guys this afternoon. I wanna finish welding in this, the inner strengthener piece today. Y'all take care and we will see you guys later. That's a pretty good fit, I think. I am uh, we're very pleased with that fit. All right, it's almost 12 o'clock. I'm gonna go ahead and break for lunch. I know I said I was going to before, but I was wanting to fit this up to see what it looked like. And I think it looks good. Y'all have a good day, bye. Well guys, I've run into my first problem. My first real problem. I never, I should have not started welding until I put the door back on because now, let me show you what I've done. I have made it incredibly tight through here because remember when the, when I was fitting things on and the, the bar that I have across the door opening popped loose. Yeah, it's a and it has squashed it. So now I'm going to have to think on what to do because I've got the entire strengthener and the A post welded in. Yay. And I noticed it when I started putting the, the the lower sill, the outer sill fitting, getting it fitted. And now it's tight down here because it's done this. See, this is what happens when you get overconfident and you're like, oh, this is gonna be easy. You don't think, and you don't think of the things that could happen. You need to go through in order to make sure that things like this don't happen. So I'm gonna to have to figure out a way to stretch that door opening before I put the sill on. 
because I mean I've got it adjusted all the way forward as far as I can get as far as that those uh, bolts will let me adjust the door and it's just it's just incredibly tight I just, I'm just pissed now. Pardon my French. I knew better. Well, we will figure it out. I mean, that's, that's all about, that's the whole, that's the process. I've got to figure this out now. I will, uh, I'll let you know. I'm going to, I'm going to brainstorm off camera for a little while and just think. So let's call it a day uh, for y'all. And uh, I will see you guys back here tomorrow, which is Friday. And um, we will continue to try and fix this. So thanks for stopping by the shop and we will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Hey guys, uh, thanks for stopping by the shop. Uh, we are going to conclude uh, this video series here for now. Uh, I've left you with kind of a cliffhanger as trying to figure out how to fix the door opening. This particular video series has gotten so long, I've had to cut it up in several parts so that we could digest it pretty easily because there's so much content. And that's what this is. It's a journey of discovery and learning. Stay tuned. You're going to see how uh, I go about fixing this little issue and the trials and tribulations of such. As always, thanks for stopping by the shop. If you're new to the channel, by all means, like and subscribe. If you like today's content, you know, give us a thumbs up. That'll help us out down there. You know, that'll help us out here. Uh, if you want to get notified every time that we upload a video about this project or any of the other projects that we're doing around the shop and the house, click the notification bell and that will alert you every time we upload a video. Thanks, guys. Uh, thanks for your patience. Have a blessed day and we will see you in the next video. Bye.